Good morning, A Bird Freedom Fam. So, this morning, let's just talk about training for speed or training for prof proficiency. Wow, let's uh, work on English. But first, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and to everybody that's gone ahead and liked and commented and watched, even if you're not subscribed. So be it. Who cares? But today, let's just talk about training for proficiency and not worrying about speed. As I've noticed more and more of my customers are talking about with current events and everything else, they're trying to do more training to be more prepared for any situation that might come at them. So they're actually getting out there and training more. So this morning, I just want to talk about using your safety during a mag change. Um, but first, as always, I'm going to go ahead and drop that source of feed. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lock that bolt to the rear. And I'm going to physically and visually inspect. So now I know that I'm working with a safe firearm. So let's keep it safe, but let's be precise about it. So safety off, you're firing. Bang, 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 bang. Bolt locks to the rear. As that happens, safety on, quick check, no issues, mag out. Mag in, little tug. Paddle, safety off, engage, or maybe the threat isn't there anymore. But now I've eliminated having to put the safety on at the same time that I'm all hyped up. Or maybe in the middle of my mag change, my movement element has crossed into my supporting line of fire. If I am already set up and I'm going to engage that target as he's crossing, I could inadvertently shoot somebody or something that I don't want to shoot. So mag in, paddle, rat, that puts a round in the chamber. You're good to go. You're still on safe. You have the option to go ahead and not fire. So that little click of the safety is not going to cost you a lot of time. It's just going to help you to not have an inadvertent accident. So proficiency in safety over speed all the time. As we all know, whether it's driving Anything you do, speed kills. If you're in a hurry with a chop saw, you're liable to chop a finger off. But if you were slow, methodical, and proficient, you'll get faster because you're not bandaging up your finger or trying to plug a gunshot wound. So everybody stay safe. Just think about speed. Think about proficiency. And always think about being safe from the moment you start your training by clearing the weapon and then moving into your series of events that you're going to do for your training, whatever that may be. Everybody stay safe.